All right, guys, so today we are looking at Tony Rice's break on I Might Take You Back Again from the Bluegrass Album Band Volume 4. Now, this song is proof positive as to why you should always buy an entire album whenever you're buying music. Don't just buy individual tracks because I'm going to be honest, this is a song that I overlooked for years. And it wasn't until I started going through this process of figuring out all the Tony Rice breaks on these songs that I really paid it any attention. And this is a really killer song, all right? So if you're new to the transcription game, I totally encourage you stop this video right now and go figure it out yourself, all right? It's very concise, it's very accessible, and it follows the melody very, very well. His embellishments are really easy to grab, and I think it would make a really great first project, all right? Now, I've been transcribing solos for a while. It took me about five minutes to get through his entire solo, and then another few minutes to get it up to speed, all right? So if you're brand new, carve out a half hour, maybe an hour, and just tackle it, all right? It's good for you, cool? <laughs> Alright guys, so just to make sure we're all on the same page, I am capoed on the second fret, playing out of the C position because we're in the key of D major. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is what Tony's doing based on some of the embellishments he uses. It mirrors some tendencies that he has in other solos that we've looked at, alright? Cool. Now, when I talk about note names, I'm talking capo terms, right? So for instance, if I say a C, I really mean a C relative to the capo, not relative to the nut, all right? That's, you know, the real pitch for this is actually D, right? Because if the capo was gone, but I'm going to say C because we're talking capo terms, all right? So just make sure you're okay with that. Now, I'm not going to give you my transcription notes for this song because, one, I was lazy and didn't write anything down, and two, it's pretty accessible. I, I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to figure this out, and you know what? That extra challenge is going to make you a better musician, all right? So you got this. All right, so right off the bat... On that C chord, that melody is going to start, uh, it's going to walk down and then back up. And I want you to notice when I play this very first phrase, what my pick's doing. All right, so here's the very beginning, first phrase. Cool. Those were all down strokes. All right. Now let's talk about what those notes are. He starts on a double stop. He's got open G, first finger on the first fret on B, so the note is C. All right, now I'm going to hammer on, oops, from uh, open G to A. Cool, now I'm going to play the same double stop, but take my, first, my second finger away. Cool, now I'm going to go down, second finger on E, and I'm going to pull it off, and then land on C. Cool, so here's it walking down. And then I'm going to walk it right back up, just kind of reverse of what I have did. Okay, so hammer on D, E, open G, and then C. Okay, he follows the melody, uh, using those double stops, adds some texture, it's pretty cool, alright? Now the second phrase. So start open G, and I'm going to slide my second finger A to B, and then I'm going to catch that high D. So my pick's going down, up, up. And then I'm going to slide it back. Down, down. Okay. finish it out, I've got an upstroke on D, I'm going to go D, E, D, F natural, E, D, B. Okay, so start on an upstroke, D, E, D, F natural, E, D, B. Do that one more time, ready, go. Alright, now you notice when I had my F natural down, I also let that open G ring, played it kind of as a double stop. And then I did the same thing on the E. And then I had a really quick D, B, down, up. All right, so that second phrase sounds like this. 
I'm sorry. Cool, so all together from the very beginning. Ready, go. All right, now the very next phrase. Cool. All right, so starting on open D, and I'm going to go D, E, D as a pull-off, right? So D, pull-off from E down to D again. Catch the B, catch the open D again. All right, so that starts again, so. Now I've got a pull-off from B flat down to A, and I'm gonna land on G. All right, that is quintessential Tony Rice right there. It was one of the reasons that told me, hey, we're capoed on the second position. Okay, so anyway, that phrase, one more time, starting on open D. Do that again, ready, go. All right, so really watch that, uh, that mixed finger pattern here, going from B natural to B flat. All right, now I'm gonna walk up in kind of a, a like kind of a picked apart G run. After that, cool. So that third phrase, one more time. All right, and then to end the whole thing out. Okay, so I kind of have that phrase again. that same finger pattern happening again from the E flat down to the D, C, D, B, C. All right, so pretty accessible. Practice it really slow, all right? And if you need to write it out, go for it. You can totally write it out. Otherwise, just keep playing, all right? Good luck.